I started this, uh, the bus thing started actually in 2007 around then and um, when the ADA amendments um, were being threatened and so um, J uh, Jim Ward and I found a bus and, and his family um, and, and I traveled um, the U.S. to every state and so, so I knew I could get, do it again. Some of these are are um, real early. I mean, not real early, but um, in the A's. I I started to take photos only when I was um, or after I was 33 years old when I started to do it. I wish I had done it sooner, but um, I was in, in the early 80s. A lot of this is um, at the Walk of Fame, which we call the Walk of Shame. I mean, they did. I mean, back then, you know. <laughs> no one was doing anything and it took, um, uh, at that point we realized it took groups to do something and, and so people started to come together and, um, and, and the police didn't know what to do and so they gave us citations and that's where this came and that one of the, I mean, I, everyone can, you know, feel for the that sign asking did not work, and that's you know that's definitely the start of you know where we're coming from and how people felt you know about getting the ADA, and of course you had <laughs> at the time you had stores that were inaccessible, um, and definitely with it with this group um, uh, this group right here was adapt. Um, who came together, and of course, the you know the original um, ADAPT stood for American Disabled for Public Tran for Accessible Public Transit. Um, and one of the things that they r realized and um, was that transportation. You took everything else. You could talk about employment. You could talk about um, even physical accessibility. People might not get it. Um, there was always more questions once you brought it up than there were answers. And any kind of or, uh, movement uh, as such um, in organizing for something, you need to kind of have a bad guy. And so one of the bad guys at that point was the Greyhound bus system. And then you had, your, of course, your local um, transit <coughs> systems, you know, and, and they all, <coughs> which is kind of really funny because you fought against them. You. You, uh, the local transits, you fought against them, you uh, blockaded them, and, and nowadays they're giving us plaques, you know, <laughs> of, of, of how they and you, um, you know, made things accessible. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and um, Greyhound definitely, like I said, it was, it was interesting that we found out that if you hit one Greyhound um, station, it all backed up um, for, for states. You hit um, St. Louis and you close almost the whole nation down. Um, now this is this is a I do have to I didn't get to talk about this photo right here, but uh, um, and within all this, um, every every agency was um, involved uh, in, in the uh, um, whether it be the Department of Transportation. This is a federal building out of. Um, out of Atlanta, but this, um, this, and and then this group that you'll see, you'll see just a, a diverse amount of people on this line and this um, 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 on this march right here. Um, it's it was so cross disability. In fact, this is a guy from People First that um, he he was a part of a group out of Tennessee that would go to the national actions and. And, and it's very typical for um, a person and uh, the self-advocates or or um, um, uh, with people first to um, to be non-confrontational, whether it be institutional. <coughs> or he, he was from an institution in Tennessee, and he and he was living on his own. Came to the um, Adapt Action with some of the other group from uh, People First and. And he was—he um, would hand out flyers, 
and then and, and and I was watching him hand out flyers, and the next second I didn't see him at all, and. And then all of a sudden I was taking pictures and here he is. He had crawled under three police cars and went for this. There's a motorcycle policeman at the end of the um, police car here. And he wrapped his um, hands around his boot and just stayed there. And then afterwards I asked him, why? You know, you're never like this. And he said he had five of his friends who were still in his institution that, were, that died that year. Um, I mean, it was it was something that was unusual, and of course the DOJ came in and realized what was happening, and closed that institution down. But he had to do something, and that was what he did. You could not actually get um, um, you cannot cut um, uh, this um, bars or anything with a with a cutter, a uh, bolt cutter. But you could you could use a grinder, except they were so close to their faces that they didn't want the. Um, I, I mean, they had before. The press would not be there, and the press were here at this point. So they left them on for six hours, and they were at, in the revolving door at the Russell Building in in Atlanta, and um, <laughs> and after you know, and there, the police were you know probably around where I was and another one's on the other side and um, and a maintenance man goes by and says do you want these um, necklaces off and that um, these uh, locks off and uh, and the <laughs> you know after six eight hours there the police were kind of peeved at that kind of um, nonchalant um, attitude of this guy and and so he just keeps on walking, and of course, he says, well, if you can, you know, and um, so he comes back, takes out a little um, screwdriver from his pocket, and there are little screws right here, he takes them off and just gets the locks out, you know, and they're just like, oh my gosh. Well, this is the same action, actually, and they're taking people out of the building. Later on, um, Clouds came in and started to heavily, heavily rain at that point. And, um, and um, like I said, Evan Kemp Jr. Um, and was, you know, knew the president, um, but the person that he always had played bridge with was um, um, C. Borden Gray. Uh, he was. Um, he was um, senior counsel to the president at the time, so Evan called him, and then C. Boyden um, called the president and said, hey, we've got disabled people down at the federal building that the police are taking out, and, they, and, and they're just getting soaked and wet. And so the president made it known, um, and uh, just, you know, <laughs> minutes later, um, uh, the police were told that uh, to let those people back in and let them sleep all night if they need if they want to and, and so that was one of the very few times that the, actually the president intervened in a demonstration as such um, a elevator takeover at the Peabody Hotel in Memphis Tennessee this was the last um, demonstration against the Amer um, um, in that lobbying group before before the signing, this was this was about six months before the signing of the ADA, and on on this side, this is three months before the signing of the ADA. Now you have these four pictures right here. Of course, uh, this is this, this is a photo of um, the um, the walk and march from the White House to the. Um, um, to the Capitol, and as you can see, um, there are um, you have um, you have um, um, Tom Harkin um, oh. um, just above, right there. You have Ralph Knees right here. From um, he was uh, he was um, sh um, a staff member of. Um, uh, Kennedy, uh, of course, uh, then later um, became part of the American Way. You'll have I King Jordan right here. Um, then you, have, of course, um, there's Justin Dart and 
and on there's a there's a young um, lady uh, child I should say um, who's about I think she was um, let's see, 14 either 14 I think she was 14 years old in this photo and that's Jennifer and this is Jennifer over here too now right after this march we have speakers which Justin was one of them uh, Major Owens you had um, um, the representative out of woman representative out of Colorado that I'm blanking on her name uh, but he had a lot of really good um, Hakeem Jordan was um, also came and, and spoke there uh, but right after uh, that rally about 50 people in chairs went to the bottom around around the other side to the bottom yeah. of the steps of the Capitol and um, got out of their chairs and climbed up and Jennifer was one of those and in the um, in the video a PBS video um, life life worthy of living there's a there's a part of um, um, of her in it um, there's footage of this, uh, video footage, but also um, the person also has gotten um, um, both of their um, comments on, on their climb up because Michael Winter, who later became um, uh, the um, head of the Civil Rights um, Office in, at the Department of um, Transportation, um, looked over after he, he just said, okay, this is it, um, I've had enough, I'm tired, you know, I'll, I'll just, you know, get out. But then he looked over, here's Jennifer crawling past him, and he just turned around and had, had to go with her and not have her show, her, show him up. But, uh, but like I was, um, this, this was a media uh, event. You could get into the Capitol at that time. Um, but the press, I mean, just to show the <laughs> inaccessibility of, of, of what we had to go through, and anyone who lived in Savoy had to go through, it was just a perfect, you know. And I had a friend that came back from France that had seen this on, on TV that, that day um, in Paris. Uh, that's how, it was like some, uh, someone had called it the shot that, you know, that was heard around the world for people with disabilities. <coughs> so, so you said this was, um, this occurred like a few months before the Three NBA. months, yes. And so why, why was, why were they demonstrating? Because I, I would think by then it would all be... No, it was um, actually um, what was happening in the Capitol is con uh, in Congress you had um, the Senate and the, um, and the House uh, conferring on the the bill that was to be, and they they had all these different um, ways of how they thought the bill should look like, and, and one of them was they would take some of the disabilities away. Um, you know, with um, I mean, one of my favorites is epilepsy. You know, it's not a disability because um, you can take a pill, and I mean, they're getting to the point where amputees. You know, you have a prosthesis. You know, that's not. A, then you don't have a disability anymore, and and, and each time um, they did that, the community uh, um, we had people like Pat Wright and the other people that were you know really strong um, people would get, turn back to the community, and, and they know the, they knew the answer. You know, we we just steadfast, and it was it was one of the greatest things that you know we as or, different organizations that um, worked together. We, we did it, we did it. Um, and it's, uh, it's the people out here that did it. It wasn't the Beltway people that did it. And I, I always, I look at anything that's videotaped, you know, it's always, it's always like it's, uh, Harkins and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, everyone they did it, you know, or, you know, it's, it wasn't, you know. I, I was got to be on all these, you know, different protests and it, it was, you know, it took a long time. Uh, well, it didn't take a long It took shorter than it would have. In fact, I don't even know if it would have if it wasn't for all of us, you know, making sure that it did. I, I see things, 
I see things happening. You know, I'm, I'm really impressed with a lot of young people, and and it's up to us to you know make sure that they get together with other people. We were kind of um, you know one of the things that we had for us, and we don't have for us. I mean, people with mobility um, disability, it's hard to get together. Um, the other side during this time is that we had conferences that we could go to. Now we don't have enough money to go to those conferences mm -hmm. as much, but we've got to figure out ways for them to get together when we can get together. You know, whether it be a state-run um, conference that, well, let's put some youth stuff so they can come and, you know, get to talk to each other. And if they want to talk to us, you know, great, you know, but we've got to make it a way for them to get together. Because we, that's, that's how we, we got together at different. The um, ADA, um, a lot of the, the, um, the original um, thoughts from it came from, from um, not people talking together. Well, people talking together, but people talking together at conventions and at uh, workshops and, and things like that.